Hi, my name is Eric Hopper. I'm at the University of Michigan School of Information Virtual Space Interaction Testbed Laboratory. Behind me is a 108 megapixel tile display that we've built. Today we're going to take a look at Google Maps running on this display. What's really compelling about this is that we're going to be taking a look at Google Maps that's running on a 30 million pixel desktop. As comparison, HDTV, which looks really, really nice, contains about 2 million pixels. Even one of these HP monitors behind me, which is 30 inches in diagonal, has about 4 million pixels. Um, so what we're going to be taking a look at today is Google Maps running at a resolution that's about 15 times as sharp as HDTV. What this lets us do is to display images that are both really physically large, but also really, really sharp and have a lot of detail and a lot of resolution. The way we're able to do this is we've built this tile display out of two dozen 30-inch monitors that's driven by a cluster of HP workstations. This cluster runs a special graphics middleware called the Scalable Adaptive Graphics Environment, or SAGE. It was developed at the Electronic Visualization Laboratory at the University of Illinois, Chicago. SAGE lets us build really scalable large displays like this that we can drive as a big visual canvas. So we've got our, our tail display running Sage, and what we've done is we've, on a separate machine, we've created a VNC desktop um, that is about 7,700 pixels wide by about 4,000 pixels tall, which, which, can, which gives us about 30 million pixels that we can look at on that desktop. We're just running Firefox on that VNC desktop, where, and we're connecting that desktop to the Sage cluster using a special uh, version of the VNC viewer, which can output uh, to to the display. So we'll take a closer look at the, the display and give you an idea of just how powerful this is for viewing really high resolution 2D data that's physically large, but also contains a huge amount of detail. So here we've got the camera off the tripod, and as you can see, we've got a pretty good chunk of Google Maps data up here, sort of ranging from Toronto and Cleveland and can see some of Pennsylvania, maybe even some of New York over there. I think there is some of New York. All the way to where we are in Michigan, Ohio, some of Indiana, and the Chicagoland area in Illinois. And I think even north we've got a little bit of Wisconsin. So a really large geographic swath of data. And what's nice about this is, is that we have it in tremendous detail up on this large display. So you could take a look at a similar area in just a normal browser, but what you couldn't do was see it in this level of detail. And you really can't get the detail from where we're standing back here, being able to see everything. So what I'm going to do is walk up to the display slowly so you don't get too much shake. And as you see as we walk in, things just get sharper and sharper and sharper, even on this camcorder, which is not great, but it's good for sort of YouTube quality things. So as we get very close to the display, you see that we have a lot more detail in terms of towns, the satellite imagery, the pictures that can be displayed, and you can make everything out pretty well. So the labels are quite readable. You get much more detail than you would get uh, simply looking at it in a browser at this level. And so to, to zoom into this, what we do is actually just physically navigate into the display we can see things in tremendous detail, but if we want to return to the larger context, we can zoom back out. As you see, we've got uh, some of the geotag pictures up here that, that Google now offers as, as one of the data sets for Google Maps. And so we can get a lot of this information all at once. It's sometimes a little slow to turn on the traffic overlays because that's a lot of data for it to grab. So there you can see traffic just lit up a few moments after we turn traffic on. Um, so again, this is another example of how you can get the really detailed uh, sensor outputs of things like things like traffic on Google Maps across a very large geographic area.